So this opportunity to make an important modern building that is memorable and aspires to everything that great urban architecture aspires to is the best. I think um, uh, if you think of a trip through Manhattan and the expectations, uh, this will be a memorable and very aspirational uh, site. In Astor Place, you're living in a totally transparent uh, condition, which gives you phenomenal views and extensions that you don't normally have. So it's frameless in that sense. The idea of living in a tower with floor-to-ceiling glass and being able to look uh, up the avenues and be on access to streets is incredibly dynamic. Also, the village is the village, and the great restaurants, and the nightclubs, and the movie theaters, and the activity all makes for uh, a sort of New York moment. I mean, this is, this is the, full, the full picture of the intensity of what New York is. I think our architecture, historically, has always been sculptural. Uh, it's conceived and perceived in three dimensions that the inside and the outside are simultaneous and this site being free and being able to build an object that has multi facades and is not frontal or sideways, it has no front and back, uh, it truly is a rotational object but it has all of the, of the formal properties that our houses have. Designing private houses is the microcosm architectural project. The idea of speculating and designing apartments is, is a, a continuous sort of exploration and all the experience we've had with the house is, is, is added up. Our work historically has always relied on natural materials and zinc is one of those rare metals. It has this elusive, very fascinating, very enriched kind of quality all the cabinet work um, in the kitchens and all the selected materials uh, are very specific and very elegantly detailed. They're part of the graphic, they're part of the image. The material selection in each bathroom and the detailing um, of the tubs and the showers and the way that all integrates is part of the, is part of the interior environment that's inherent. There's a sense if there were no furniture and you just walked into the space, you would feel that it was completely designed. The unfolding of the various layers of architecture was uh, scenographic. From his point of view as a filmmaker and from my point of view as an architect, you see buildings in different perspectives and from different points of view and it should always be compelling. That's the most important thing, that it shouldn't be a letdown when you finally get there. And I think, I think in this case, it's not going to be a letdown.